Good evening everyone, welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Women Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel run by Predator and CSI. Our next match for today is a cracking quarterfinal matchup between Kristina Tekac and Kristina Zlateva. In the commentary booth for this match we have Mark White and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Hi Mark, good evening. Hello, it's uh, been about 20 minutes since I saw you last. <laughs> Well, you mentioned there it's going to be like a, a cracker of a match. It's got a lot to live up to, hasn't it? The last one we did, just absolutely amazing. Here we are again then. Look at that one ball going, just going away from the pocket. Oh, I think she's left it on for Slateva. Christina, the Bulgarian, left hand up. Her game really has come on this last year, hasn't it, Tim? Well, she's been investing in herself a lot as well. She's been playing a lot of women, um, men pro tournaments. Uh, she went a lot to the USA last year, this year still, but two years in a row just trying to play every tournament there is instead of just playing the women's events. So she should be growing also plays a lot of snooker as well loves the game of snooker and I know one person who will be watching her mum Maria hi Maria very controlled around the table isn't she very thorough likes to hit the ball hard Yeah, not a bad commentator too. Yeah, she she's is. good, yeah. Both of them. I mean, we've yeah. had both of these girls in the booth, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, talking of Christina improve, uh, you know, Zlatava improving. This young lady at the table now has improved no end this last year. Got to the semi-finals of the women's nine ball in Atlantic City. Well, she was always already on top in Europe. If you look at how many Euro Tours she won, how many European Championships she won, she was always one of Europe's finest players. But then on the world stage, she really didn't get that, that, that push through. She didn't really get there. I had a very interesting conversation with her. She said she's actually changed her whole shot routine to become accustomed to shot clocks used to have this really long pre-shot routine where she'd hold her cue at the uh, tip at the ball for a long while. And she said, what's the point in me changing it just for shot clocks? I might as well change it for yeah. everything because I can't just change it every time I go to it. So she's got a really good head on her shoulders, this young lady. Very serious about this sport. Yeah, she's got not a bad coach all the time with her. Feather Gorst. Travel everywhere together. If she can play, obviously. If she cannot play the event, then most of the time she'll find another event to play. Yeah, of course, Fedor helping her out, but her real coach is her father and has been ever since she was a little girl. Best of both worlds, huh? Not much angle on the seven here. Not sure if she can still get to the short side of the eight. So she played for the top side and yeah. just okay. Just yeah, beautiful stroke again. Yeah, looks like she's striking the ball very clean at the moment. Gonna get the extension on her cue and yeah, she's not wasting any time. Oh, look at the length of cue hanging over the end. This is risky. Oh, up and down, two rails. Oh, brilliant shot. She looks fired up for this one. Had a 
great win in the last match over Margaret Fefilova in straight sets. Yeah, solid start here in the first rack. One unforced error by Zlateva. And now, Christina Tkach opens her account. Yeah, and Christina Zlateva had a great win herself, a straight sets win over Amber Chen. That's a really good win as well, because she's been playing some great stuff. There she is, the crystal. The newly nicknamed crystal. Have you got a nickname? Not yet. I'm working hmm. on it. You're working. It's not your job to give yourself a no, nickname. No, no, no. But it's our job, right? Everyone no, in the chat. Your, it's not your job. What should? Uh, no, not. I didn't say my <laughs> job. Guys in the chat, come on. What do we call Tim, the writer? What's his nickname going to be? I'll just give you a little clue. His name means like rider, horse rider. Yeah. Jo jockey. Horse rider, kind of, but that would be a little bit strange. Doesn't have to be last name. No, I'm related. just, I'm just, you know, to, to me, them, it doesn't have to I'm be. Just giving them some, uh, some tips, you know. So breaking off second rack. One thing you sh can be sure of is Zlatova is a fighter. Believe me. Oh, look at that, made the three and the two. Shot on the one as well, where she, oh, I think it might have just gone past the pocket. Oh, she's looking at making this, Tim. The cue ball will be coming back across the table for the four. I've got to the side. Beautifully stroked in. And look at this perfect angle on the four. Stun off the side rail for the five into the side. Ooh. Oh, she's got into that too much. What a mistake that is. Yeah, she's gone too low on the cue ball there. Didn't need to be anywhere near that. She was going so well. Yeah, it would be a good start for Slateva to get that first game on the board. Quite a easy start for her, this wreck. Ball in hand with six open balls. If you want to head over to the other table. Zhao Yu Chao is up against Seo Sa from South Korea. And the Korean has just taken a 3-1 lead over the double world champion. Back to this one, Christina on this eight ball. What's she doing? Gonna stay short side, Tim? Was she gonna Yeah, I, I, I would like to just float this in. Shoot the nine to the top right corner. Oops, she's left a little bit more angle on the nine. Of course, it's still makeable, but a little bit more tough. We'll have to stun to the other side for the 10 in the top right corner in this view. Nicely done. So this 10 ball. To level things up at 1-1. One, one. And remember, it's best of three sets now. There's no shootout. If we go 1-1, one, one, we have an extra set. Up to 3-3, three, three, and in it goes. Yeah, Christine will be a little bit disappointed with that. that. We'll go for a short one minute break. We'll be right back, I promise.
Welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open quarterfinal match. Scores one each and Christina Slateva to break. Quite powerful break. Cuba went to the side but got kissed away. Open layout but no shot on the one for Christina to catch. Broke off more centrally. Not going to the side. Well, I don't spot Fedor anywhere. Oh, there is that Fedor? No, that's not Fedor. Yeah, that's that Fedor. is Fedor. <laughs> there he is. I knew he'd be here somewhere. Yeah, he's a regular customer when Christina to catch plays. A customer, you didn't charge him to get in, did you? It's free. How much did you charge him? I can't tell. Fedor got knocked out, of course, of the men's side. But he's here for the 10 ball as well, as well as to support his girlfriend. Interesting push out. Leaving the cue ball off the rail, so many different options. You can shoot the one towards the three, call the three just in case, and bring the cue ball back two rails behind the ten, or in the same corner as the two. cover now then is there some kind of billiard or combo on here she's called the three ball I think she called yeah she's got to go for that three ball if she doesn't hit it perfect it might still go off the nine ball Cupid might get held up by the six here Well, it would have went, but she just under hit that ball. Hit it much thicker as well. But yeah, not enough pace either, but she didn't hit it so hard because she was going for a thinner contact. Yeah. This is going to be very, very interesting tactically as well because Christina has really been working on her safety. Yeah, she did get it safe, but yeah, guaranteed to hit this. Some separation. Yeah, she no left cover. The long straight one. Christina possesses a lot of cue power as well. She's looking at if I stop the cue ball dead, will I have a decent shot on the two? Yeah, I do like it. Just got to make sure you make the ball. Don't do too much. Of course, it would be nice to draw back and shoot the two on the side, but especially when you're not in stroke yet, you just play the bare minimum. Full execution. Also holds down a full time job, which is admirable as well. She works for a company online and still gets up at the proper office hours to do her work. So she's really dedicated, Christina. Yeah, we'll have to draw her way out of this corner. Back to the center of the table. Christina doesn't have 
a nickname, but her surname apparently translates into English as gold, golden. So a lot of people, all her friends wanted to call her the golden girl, but she's a little bit too young to be called a golden girl. Kelly Fisher, 2-0 down in the first set against Silviana Lu from Indonesia. Yeah, three other quarterfinals running at the moment. Bean Hung is playing Elul Kiberuglu. So Viana Lu, like you said, is 2-0 up against Kelly Fisher. No? Yeah. Yeah. And Chao Chi Yu. Chi Yu Chao is up. No, is down 2-3 against Seo Sea. All close matches. I think it's all same kind of speed they play. that 10 ball yeah, no, I think well, it's safe to say <laughs> nine is her next target with the eight ball of course tough combo One goes oh. in and Okay. Oh, she got there. And I tell you, that scratch in the side from Christina to catch in rack number two is going to cost her two racks and counting. Yeah. Big momentum here for Slateva. Christina will love this. That Christina, not the other one. Now referee. Racking the balls. Yeah, for Christina Slateva to break them. And she does have a nice pop on the cue ball on the break. Just needs a little bit better aim sometimes. But that's for most of the players. 3-0, Kelly Fisher down now in the first set to Lou. Yeah, Kelly just had that really long battle, didn't she, against Wei Chu Chen. And it went all the way to a shootout, which unbelievably, Kelly won. <laughs> After missing her first one, well, they'll be the Golden Girls in, well, a lot later on in life, of course. Do you remember the Golden Girls? Do you know that TV show? No. It's about three ladies who have grown old together. It's quite funny, actually. I think Goldie Horn was in was one of them. Makes the eight in the side. And the two. And the one she's going to be on. Look. Look at this. Whoa. Oh. Well, look. It might still be OK. She might actually rather than follow this. Could she, could she stab down and draw back off the side rail, Tim, out for the three or not? Or could she just she, stop it? Or she what? might still be able to play a little messy with right spin. We'll go to the short rail and then grab the right spin. I think I like that. Terrific break. Yep, she's going to... Looks like she wants to dig down on this, but I think... The it's just off angle. Well, you can cut it, and then the right spin is going to send it more towards the bucket. If you overcut, you aim to overcut with a lot of inside. She's not interested. No need to take any risks. Wise decision. She's got Christina to catch under pressure, and she'll want to keep her there. She's called the side pocket. Going to kick this from behind. 
Lots of left hand English. Try and hold the cue ball where the one is. Yeah, tried the more conservative shot. And She's she just wobbling at the moment, isn't she, early on in this match? Yeah, she failed to hit a rail. It's a good opportunity for Christina Slateva to get on the hill. Just to explain to anyone new to the game, after contacting the object ball, a ball must either hit a, a rail or go in a pocket, of course. Oh, don't go by that nine. It's okay. going to the left long rail still okay to draw the cue ball I think she can just no she's still queuing over that nine ball nice stroke yeah, looking she's good <laughs> st starting to strike the ball pretty good angle on this five ball to come back anywhere along the line she is now really she could float it in and get to the other long rail just center ball Now a little stun to the center of the table. Some good positional shots in this rack. Nicely in line again. She's on the hill now. Nice run out there. Really good positional shots. And we'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back. Yeah, wow. What a shot this is. There's a highlight shot. Brilliant if I ever shot. saw one. Brilliant shot from Roland Garcia. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is a class in kicking from these two and jumping and positional play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well played. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. No, cue ball. He's all right and he's got a shot on the two. Great shot again with that jump stick. Welcome back for the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open. The 
Stina Slateva is on the hill. She's up 3 to 1 and breaking. She makes a 7 in the side. And would that one ball got a fortunate kiss? Oh, she will oh. like this. Look at that one ball. Yeah, look at the all the balls. Look at, um, it's safe to say that she will make the one ball. Look at the three ten as well. Yeah, she might have to play for the three ten. I think the three goes in the top right corner. Oh, she's got a little short. Decided to get some angle. Can go around the eight still. Around the eight, around the six. For the three ten combo. Oh, she went into the three. Yeah, it needed more stun to go around the angles and also played it quite soft so. Does that three will still go? That's the question. Keep the pressure on, get a good safety in here. I don't think it goes, does it? Kelly Fisher has pulled a rack back. It's now 3-1. Lou leads. She might be going for it. I think she is. Oh, it does go. Well, what a shot. Decided to play the short side of the four and... Oh, yeah. well, it was a scratch that cost. And it was on the three ball as well. What, what was it? I don't know. Actually. I can't remember. It was scratching the side anyway. Yeah, now this one in the corner. They're even with the scratches. Good opportunity for Christina to catch. Yeah, and I mean, she was queuing great, wasn't she, up until the scratch? Slateva thought long and hard before playing that particular shot she played. Oh, oh. dear. She might be able to go for the bank. I wouldn't mind going for the bank. Well, she does play bank pole. She looks like she's playing the safety. Five ball to the short rail. Cue the ball behind the oh. nine. The ten. Oh. oh. Be careful, Christina. Sateva. Can I call one, one of them Crystal? Yeah. Catch. Got the five on the left side. Oh, got it really thick. Very thick she hit that. Yeah, she's just lost a bit of confidence at the moment, I think. Looking a bit tentative. She might got cold in the chair. Four balls to win the first set, and she she did get quite straight on this six ball. Is there a little angle there that she can use the side and bottom rail? Yeah, she's got a little angle. Look, Tim. Yeah, going forward would mean she would get behind the ten ball, so it needs a big stun. See, going 
behind the ten ball. She's in Kate. She had a quick look, and there was no facial expression to say she wasn't on it. Big shot here. Oh, struck it perfectly. Two more balls, and she's halfway to the magic two sets, which will take her into tomorrow's semi final. Did get set a little thin, but she's okay. And then this 10 ball to win the first set in a pretty confident style. Yeah, she'll be really pleased. She'll be feeling great. And Christina to catch made that mistake back in rack number two, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was rack number two. She scratched, yeah. and then now she missed the five ball to try and turn the set around. Yeah, after Christina Zateva had ret returned the compliment, returned the favour of a scratch of that three ball. And there's Fedor Gorst. Looking across very lovingly towards his girlfriend there. Yeah, I can see him talking to her, you know, coaching Fedor. Well, Fedor loves pasta. That's his favorite dish to eat and does no cooking whatsoever. Christina does all the cooking, she said. Well, hopefully, we'll be taking her out for a meal after this. Referee making doubly sure that those balls are tight. And Christina Zeteva will break off this second set. They take it in turns to break off first in the, each set. And from now on, of course, it's winner's break for this set. Oh, that saved a scratch inside. Ooh. It actually knocked the three in and well look at this for a shot on the one as well cue ball was on its way there and this does go and she's used to using the the bridge Christina we have it will be tough to hold the cue ball on this I have to go upside, up and down. Who's going to say oh. upside down for a minute? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, did manage to do well. Has a good feel for the speed of the table so far. Yeah, she's a left-hander though. It's going to be hard to reach this. She's okay. Really good reach she has. She doesn't mind having lots of overhang on the cue from her bridge hand. I would have liked to have maybe been at the other angle on this five so she could draw straight back she'd have to come short side here Tim or, or she goes into the rail and back out on the right side like oh, this oh like that what a great shot this is oh. great stroke and sitting watching this crystal the crystal must be thinking I'm in trouble here I need to start you know, to get going myself. Oh, wow. That's just a 
Uh, just a little quick snatch there on the cue. Yeah, after making such a good shot. So yeah. careless. And how many times do we see that? People make a great shot. And then the very next one. Made a mess of it. There's no other way to say it. 3-2 now, Kelly Fisher behind in the first set. She's on a comeback. Been hung 2-1 up against a little Kibaroglu. And Sao Sao has won the first set 4-3 against reigning world nine and ten ball champion, Chao Che Yu. Yeah, unexpected miss from the crystal. Christina to catch. Using the extension. Just wants to make the... Yeah, these are nasty, aren't they, Tim? And they're so tight in that pocket. Well, I think she can still play the left side with left spin and go straight over to the seven, but she's going real first. Just to watch out for that nine ball. Played it well. Played it well. Good shot. Well, apart from that six that she missed previously, she's looking like never missing. Really, really impressed with Christina's Lataiva. herself a little longer on the eight but I like to go three rails here for the nine in the same pocket as the eight looking a little slow but yeah she caught it just a little bit thick I think but she's okay she sta she can still cut it and the odds of getting Good position on the tennis, quite okay. Lovely stance she has. Right toes slightly in front of the left. Nice straight back leg, bent front leg. Very snooker orientated. Nice and square to the table, I do like that. Everything in alignment. Yeah, good technique. And a nice run out from Slateva to take the first rack in this second set. She's just looking a little bit more solid than to catch at the moment. We were speaking earlier about Viktor Zelensky retaining his world, sorry, not world, but his. Uh, Las Vegas Open title, Tim, that he won here last year. And it's a real tough thing to do. And Kelly Fisher, also reigning champion, we thought she was going to go out. We thought Wei Wei was going to go through and make this her second Pro Billiard Series event in a row after winning in Puerto Rico. And, of course, that all turned on its head. Kelly making a little bit of a comeback against... Indonesian Silviana Lu. 2 3 down there now. Elu Kibaroglu has got a rack back also against Bean Hung. Now, if you want to watch any of those other games, they're all available on kazoom.com, tv.kazoom.com. And then you can just register. I would strongly recommend registering for the whole year. Tim and I have already done it. It's something like 90 bucks, I think it is. Something yep. like that. And there's so many tournaments now that Kazuma are covering, and it all comes with commentary. Us two, we're always going to be there, aren't we, Tim? With every, hopefully, yeah, every hopefully, one of their yeah. events, if we get picked again after today's performance, maybe not. Yeah, could definitely be. So, dry break. It's not left something for Christina. Yeah, what she mustn't do is panic and start taking on crazy shots. She's got to hold her composure. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do like to play the push out, maybe put the six ball next to the seven or the seven with the six. She's playing the one up and down. And I couldn't really see where she was going to get any cover playing that, to be honest. Yeah, me neither, and she's left a good opening shot here for Slateva. She's not thinking clearly, I don't think, at the moment. It's all a bit of a haze since that first rack, to be honest. I bet she'll be setting that shot up again, though. The one where she scratched to get it out of her system when she's back in the practice room. Win or lose this tournament. Yeah, it was pretty surprising to see that she scratched straight in the side on the shot in the beginning. How did she cue that? Pretty good. Kelly Fisher now 3-3 three, three with Silviana Lou. And Seo Seya just won the first set, 4-3. With Chi Yu Chao. Oh, did let the cue ball go and I think she's okay, she's got a nice angle to drop in between the four and the five. That's the, this is key shot. Oh, oh, that's okay. She got that nice little angle to stun off the rail to get straight on the five. And like I said, from there, you know, just got to make sure she doesn't get straight on the six. Well, oh, yeah, she's, of course, left-handed. So had to use the bridge. Now I'll just slide this one down the rail, follow the cue ball. Perfect position on the six. No, yes. Straight and all. Very solid here. Good positional shots. Ooh. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, a little bit of anger there. And she does possess that. She's got that little thing inside her. And she has to get the jump cue out here. Okay, you'd expect to get it, Tim, but it's still missable, aren't they? These never guaranteed the jump shot. Oh, on the point, and the cues are even worse. Unbelievable. Why did she? Why under hit that? And yeah, that's the thing on the seven. Always make sure you can see the eight. Rather be too far and still see the eight than too short. Oh, and this could be a little momentum change. Christina Tekac, she needs this change as well. Mm. 
there it goes. One each. Oh, it looks like she'll be going for a little break. She knows she got lucky there. So we're gonna go for a short break as well. We'll be right back for you guys. Welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel. We're currently waiting for both players to get back to the arena. Decided to take a little break. I think the referee's taking a break as well. Yeah, well, well maybe he's just showing off the aero rack. Yeah, the Predator aero rack. And just look at this table. How beautiful is that? Predator Apex nine foot table. really is I call it the apexy sexy it really does look lovely with them lights underneath it and they're having a good old give us one of your chips please I'm starving over here cheese it mix look I like them Fedor deep in thought could see he was on his phone might be texting with Christina while she's on the break you never know yeah liblu tibia that yeah. means I love you in oh. Russian great thank you for that um, thank God I don't know what it had to say in Dutch yeah <laughs> he's still got his cue with him look he's gonna come down and he's gonna do some practice well, yeah he's probably a practiced up and ready to go to bed just waiting for Christina to catch glad you said to catch yep well they've b almost been playing for an hour so it's good to take a break takes a huge toll on your your body it's not the first match they've played today so it's really the grind now it's really in how sharp can you still be during this match I don't know where she was heading just when we thought we were gonna be ready to go she left again So 
the crystals back. We're just waiting for Christina Slateva to. Oh, this is a very interesting fact. She's got that little bag with the. What's inside of it? When you start to, like, you press it. Hate. And it, yeah, it, it heatens up. Yeah, it's got special crystals in it. Crystal. Full crystal. Yeah, and when you shake it up, it releases the heat and warms your hands up. So maybe she's got cold hands. You know what they say, cold hands, warm heart. Yeah, she told me, she said, oh, you can buy the Walmart. It's like super cheap. <laughs> That's what she told me. That's a good thing. Good trick. So both players back. Free wrecking the balls. Ready to go. I want to get me one of them. Making sure the rack is nice and tight. So Christina to catch breaking and is she going to move? Yeah, she is breaking from the center. She started the match breaking from the side. And she had a good result, so interesting to see that she is changing. Almost made a four, nine ball goes in and looks like a perfect opportunity. Nicely played. Stop the cue ball. Oh, she's run off the rail then. Yeah, and she straighter than that. She could stop the cue ball and then run into the six ball with the two. Guaranteed to have the three after. Prefer that, to be honest, Tim. Yeah, small little bump on the six. She's only got to make sure she doesn't push that six and the five together. So. Just a little bit more speed on it would be nice to just bump it over. It's yeah. okay. Looking good. <laughs> Sometimes a break is all you need. Restart, like, rather like turning off and on a computer. Did not want to get that far on the rail and straight on this four ball, so she'll have to take a longer five ball. Silviana Leo has taken the first set against Kelly Fisher. Just a small draw on the five. Don't really have to draw all the way back. Goes for extension. Does have a small angle. I like. You don't want to bump into the seven here, do you? And tie the ten up, risk tying the ten up. We might get a little bit too low as well. We'll get a more cut on the six. No, yeah, nice played shot. that beautifully. Held it to perfection. Really had to hold the cue ball there. Seven ball on the side. Slightly wrong angle, is it? Was it okay? Yeah, just awkward. Might have to run into the eight. She did. Oh, knocked it on beautifully. Great shot, Christina, to catch. So this to take the lead for the first time in the match. Well, second time, actually. She took the first rack, didn't she? Yeah, Christina Slateva. Made that mistake the last rack and 
Now, after taking a small timeout, Tukac makes a break and run, so looks like momentum has changed. Could we have another match going all the way? It's very possible. Ilul Kibaroglu, 3-2 up on Bean Hung, first set. And if you want to catch some of the Chao Chu Yu match, just head over to Billiard.tv on YouTube, it's on there. Where Jim White and George Teachea are describing the action for you. That's if Jim's still a, still awake. Actually, he's not a night person. He's normally in bed by about this time at night. He's a very early bird, is Jim White. I've spent a great couple of weeks, almost three weeks actually, at his place in Toronto, the Corner Bank. He's there 6:30 every single morning till 6:30 in the evening, like clockwork made a ball in the side a uh, look at the one don't think that one more goes to the bottom right corner they're having a little party those three girls up in the bleachers there i think they bought a picnic with them Probably the opposite sides, long rail, long rail safety. Oh, it it did go. What wow. a great shot that is. Well, momentum has switched. It's still difficult to get to the three ball, but look at this for a shot. Brilliant shot. have a little bit too much angle to draw to the center of the table or maybe closer to the four she does still have the cut on the three but it's a tough shot though I think she might have to shoot it can she avoid the seven she can yeah I think if you play top if even if you bump the seven you're okay on the four just gonna make the shot oh brilliant just completely, completely changed, hasn't she? Well, it's unfortunate that. Could quite easily have got a much friendlier kiss on that four ball than she got. Yeah, so we'll... Is she going to attack this, or is she just pinning and bringing the cue ball back behind the 10-5? She has pushed it a little bit towards the corner, and does Christina Slateva have that small little queuing space there to cut the four in? Tried to bank it over three rails, and I think she's left the four ball on. So another chance for Christina to catch to get on the hill. Oh, might be a little, little bit more tough, but still she could play the small messe. Oh, she's playing safe here. She was trying to get the cue ball behind the 10. Yeah, Caught it a little thick. She's annoyed at herself there. Giving herself a good talking to. Is 
So long shot. Yeah, she also tried to get nice on the five ball. I might have chosen to just float it in and shoot the longer five. And she's got very fortunate, I think, there. I don't think she has. I thought I saw daylight between that seven. I think she can make this, can she? No. Oh, little bump on the eight, and she's just got the edge. safe. Kelly Fisher, 2-0 ahead in the second set, having lost the first. Che Yu Chao, 2-1 up in the second set, having lost the first. Oh, good hit, nice separation, beautiful shot from Christina Sateva. Well, decent enough hit on it, but she's left it. Disgusted once again. Um, is she straight on the four? Yes. And she might have to draw back for the five in the side pocket. Good view here. Shows exactly where to be on the five. Nice shot. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, it's gone in the wrong pocket. Well, that saved Christina a job. So three balls to get on the hill in this second set. going towards the 10. Small stun. Really got hold of that one. A little bit too far, but still expected to make this no problem. Could have been two each. It's now 3-1 for the Crystal. Yeah, what should have been as well, because it wasn't a difficult shot in the side. Just caught the point. Nothing to do with the cue ball either, because the six was waiting over the corner pocket. So, bad miss there. Tomorrow at noon, we will have both semi-finals for you. And then at four, we will have the final. Who's going to be crowned Alpha Las Vegas women's champion and pick up a check for $13,000. Runner-up gets 7000 
Roberts, losing semi finalists, get 4,000. And players playing at the moment are guaranteed $2,500. So it's paid for their trip, I guess. Yeah. Breaking from the centre again. Two ball in the sort. Oh, almost made that wing ball. Well, fortunate not to leave something on the one. Yeah, just off to the side of the one slightly there, Tim. Might be able to bank the one ball, three rails down table, two rails, and then get the cue ball on the left long rail, trying to use the six nine as a blocker. She's hit this hard. She's come straight back out again. Left a shot on this Tim. Difficult position for a two ball though. Doesn't mind taking a longer one though. Well, I think this shot. I think this was the only way to really get on the two ball. Now, if she only makes a two, goes over for the three, she might be able to find a find room between the ten and the nine to cut the four. scratch yeah I thought it was quite difficult Kelly played with low right Kelly Fisher still fighting back 2-0 up Elu Kibaroglu is taking the first set against Bean Hung Still a difficult position, getting from the three to the four. Oh, just missing that eight ball and she's finished in no woman's land. Right-handed, can't make up her mind. Yeah, long rail, long rail safety using the ten and the nine. I think that's a good shot. Or is there a small window? There's a window right, right. between the nine and the ten, I think. it lined up perfectly for the bank yes how's it was your luck? how's your luck yeah beautiful shot from Christina to catch looking to level things up
Did get a little straight on this seven ball. Might have to go to the short side for the eight. Wow, what a great shot that was. Just did not want to get straight on the eight. We'll need another good shot. She's got a slight angle, Tim. <coughs> well, it's not much. Can she stand again from the rail? Just enough. Nine and ten to level it up at one set each. Nicely done. In it goes. We're all square. One set all. Go to a deciding set. And then, of course, if it goes 3-3, three, three, we will have a shootout. We'll go for a short one-minute break, but we'll be right back. Good evening. We are back with the Alpha Las Vegas Women Open. Christina Tikac patiently waiting for Christina Sateva from Bulgaria to come back to the arena. Yeah, she'll be quite happy after, I know, keep saying it, but when, oh look, I've just noticed a little crystal on her, on her shirt there. I've never seen that before. Had you spotted that one? No. Yeah, of course she didn't play too great in the first set. 
but she played pretty well on the second set to win 4-1. So it's the deciding set now, and if we go three each, we'll go to the shootout. We're zooming in. Well, we were zooming in on the aero rack. Now we're zooming in on Federal Gorst. With and that Alec. young lady to his right on our left is also a great player, isn't she? Gulakova. Gulakova, yes. Oh, we just what caught Fedor yawning then. Is our referee? Yeah, waiting to wreck the balls for when Christina Sateva comes back. There's the arena lights available on predator.com if you'd like to include one of those. I wouldn't mind one in my lounge. I mean, I can't afford a table. I'll just have a light and pretend. Still lots of buzz going around the Rio. It is the BCA USA Pool League Championships. It's the big expo, the greatest pool experience on earth. We started with the men's Las Vegas Open, of course, continuing with the women's now, which will finish tomorrow. And then on Tuesday, the world men's 10 ball will begin. And the young man sat next to me, Tim De Reuter, will be playing in that. And I'd like to officially wish you all the best for that, Tim. Thank you. And I just cannot wait until you are on the stream table so I can critique your break. And that's okay. <laughs> you know I really don't mind. I want you to crush them. Oh, I will. Are you really going to crush oh, them? Is, yeah. that, is that the strategy? That's my strategy, yeah. Is it? Yeah, because having a dry break is almost equivalent to having the cue ball fly off the table, if you think about it. It's like if you leave an open table with ball in hand shape on the one, then it's almost the same as giving ball in hand. Well, yeah, but you're not always going to give ball in hand position, are you? No, of course, but percentage-wise, you, you lose the, the control in the rack. Enough about your break. Back to her break. Well, it's also for her break. You lose the control in the rack if you have a dry break all the time. So I'd rather crush him. Oh, seven ball almost went. and She's left window I think on the one open shot nice square hit yeah hit them nice and maybe just a little bit harder does that one ball go to the corner or no nope. you need to crush them a bit more crystal that was a nicely controlled shot I like that yeah, I was thinking maybe she was gonna take the risk and play the seven ball on the side She's just patiently waiting. Will not be too tough for Christina to hit, but she will have to hide either the one or the cue ball, of course. Slateva looking round, wants to see what's going on. That's a decent hit, that. She's had a nice outcome as well. Couldn't have expected much more than that. Is the two railer on? So, uh, so the eight and the four coming together there, conspiring to hook Christina. So she's going two rails here. Call the one in the side. Yeah, it's a little tricky. It's with the slide as well. Not sure if she can kick past the seven and still hit the one. So she's going over the left side. 
can choose to go one rail and just try to make it, but I like to go two rails and kick it from the back. Oh, and ball in hand. Yeah, that's the worst bit. I know it was a foul anyway. She missed the one ball anyway, Tim, so. Yeah. angle to get to the three ball would not be surprised if she just gets to the center of the table maybe a little under it to cut the three ball and go around for the four she doesn't really have to draw and get perfectly straight on the three chose to though nice little angle on this as well Just to run a bit. Came up a little short. Trouble. As soon as she hit that, you knew it was too soft. She might still be able to carry the seven ball in. Take the risk. Yeah, she just played the safety and has left the gap. And a good opportunity for Slateva to play the opposite sides with a couple balls in between. Kelly Fisher has taken the second set to level things up. One set all with Silviana Lu. Did she get full cover here? That's the question. Oh, breaking news, Chow is out. It's Chow to Chow. Yeah, impressive win from Seo Seya, who I believe got to the semi-final in the World Nine Ball yeah, Championships. She, she was so excited when that happened. She she couldn't believe it herself, so she's really pushing herself in these big women events. Lucky and beaten by Alison Fisher, of course, who then went on to the final and lost 9-0 to Chow. You can see the replay. Cuba jumped on top of the rail, and then she got lucky behind the uh, behind the five ball. Yes. Christina Zlatayda's choice turn to jump. Wow, Ooh. everything moving there. Yeah, a little wild, but then again, not really selling out, so she did buy some time there. Young South Korean is the first lady into the semi finals. Sales Sarah. Oh. It's really short. Of course, it doesn't go in the bottom left corner, but she might try to shoot it in the bottom right corner. Guaranteed to be on the five ball. semi-final and the final tomorrow. Containing safety. Is she going for the cut? No. 
Be patient, but she's left she's a shot left on the floor. On. Oh dear. She's going to clip off the 10 into the corner pocket. We've, had, we've seen a few scratches today. Oh, this is a tough shot. Oh. And we said five ball ending up. lucky not to leave the five ball on see her banking the five ball over up table and get the cue ball behind the 10 just like that she struck that nice good shot and it just grazed the 10 as well didn't she has she left a small little edge yeah yes. oh and she's also left it on in case she wants to go aggressive she's left the potting angle here goes was more worried about making the shot than the position so she really put that little pop on there she's okay on the six it's not super tough she can play with a comfortable stun speed doesn't really have to force the six ball and straight in the bucket Strong shot. Nice shot on the eight ball. Played a good positional shot for the nine. Nice angle to work with. Top left. Miss Timbo to take the lead. This final deciding set. And it goes. Wrecking the Predator, Arcos, two balls for Christina Slateva to break. And yeah, now momentum slowly coming back to Slateva, who will be looking to have a good break and hopefully extend the lead. Yeah, she's gone to exactly the same place. 
as to catch was breaking. Ooh, Where's the cue ball? ball? Yeah, no shot on the one though. Just no pace in the break either, really. Yeah, it's not that explosive as she usually breaks. No. Might be getting tired, Tim. It's uh, been a long day, hasn't it, for these players? A lot of them started out at 9 a.m. this morning. What is it now? It's 10.45. 10.48. So played the push out, leaving that little thin edge on the one, but not too interested in hitting a small edge. She's looking at a thicker contact, sending the one behind the 10.7. Not sure if she, if she can hit it that thick. Skimmed off the 10 ball, and where is that cue ball going? That's going in the pocket. Good chance for Christina to catch. here maybe getting from the two to the three nicely lots of right hand English on the ball as you can see they're zipping it up okay angle to stun the cue ball to the short side of the three just got to make sure she doesn't get straight on the three ball we'd like to have a small angle I think she's got that angle to stun out a little bit for the five in the bottom right corner. Perfect angle in the five just to draw off it. herself a little angle on the six could have stunned a little bit out to get straight on the six stop shot on the six would give a good angle on the seven is she going to hold the cue ball or she didn't mind a little longer seven a little up and down here back and forth first crossing over 48 and from the nine coming back to the other side for the ten struck that perfect really becoming a fan of this young lady's game really nice stroke I actually enjoy watching up she's speeded up so much think about it we haven't heard many shot clock beeps going off in this particular match Right on cue, she calls the extension. Not going to help them hear it this time either. She did get a little straight on the nine. She can go forward, cheat the puck a little bit, two rails. Don't put too much right spin, just stop spin. Oh, she caught the point and she did not get on the ten. Yeah, that came after the position she played from the eight, doesn't it? She's called the bank shot. This is to level the score. Well, she's missed it, and 
little firm. She's left the cut on the 10. Look good. Well, we're reaching the business end of this match. This tempo could be very important for Slateva. Yeah, she can make this. She'll be breaking to get on the hill. And then it really does get, it changes the complexion of the match, doesn't it? When all your opponent can then hope for is a shootout. Very important getting to the hill for more than one reason. Oh, and she's overcut it. Well, this isn't a gimme either. Oh, and if you catch real first on this shot, there's also a big scratch in the corner. Super thin in the cue ball. Yeah. Well, exactly as you called it, Tim. Exactly. Good call. the spin that she put on there helping it in that pocket as well so 2-0 that was a disastrous and this really has been a match of the scratch hasn't it because we started out with one and we've had a few intermittent ones in between very important ones and none more important than that one well every time they have been scratching on the break the other player was winning like one or two wrecks after like extra so Complete momentum change, and I would not be surprised if Slateva now gets going a little bit. Kelly Fisher now 2-0 up in the deciding set with Silviana Lou. See, it's Lateva last break. Made that four on the side, but no shot after. Is she gonna get position after the break here? Another square hit. Both balls tracking towards the side were too long. A little fortunate with how she left the 2-4 though. It's not an easy combination and also not easy to get there from this one ball. She's played short side on this look. Good effort. Yeah, she can still freeze up on the on the four ball. She can still go for it though, by the way, and bump the four and still have a shot on the three, but Yeah, I like going for it. Yeah, I no. didn't I didn't really like to go for it. Okay. It was just also because it was awkward queuing, you could see that she was really stretching and after she would have to shoot a tougher three and you know, in this way she still stays in control and yeah good point most likely to get a good shot after two rails the extension oh, nice great hit, hit. Oh, and she had a bit of ball. luck she might have left it on but 
then again, tough to get the position on the three. And she's got perfect on the 3 9 combination. Choosing to shoot the three in the corner and go three rails with the cue ball. Tough shot. Yeah, she's missed it. And she's left the opportunity for Slateva. played good angle on this four ball just draw it with a little bit of right chance to get on the hill in this deciding set the quarter final of the women's Las Vegas Open lay this in the side a little more angle on the six and it will be very important to play with inside spin come off the short run and get to the left side because she will need some angle from the seven to the eight. Being hung making a fight back in the second set of her match with Elu Kibaroglu. She's 3-0 up after losing the first set. Already through, as we told you, Seo Seo from South Korea. She beat Che Yu Chao two straight sets earlier on Kelly Fisher 2-0 up in their deciding set against Silviana Lu well, hit that nicely didn't really get any Still cut the eight, a little tougher cut. She makes the eight. She's very high percentage to get on the on the hill here. Oh, nice! A little angle going up table, so there's two shots. She can really travel around. But I do like to just just roll it in and take a little longer tempo. Because if Ooh, you travel it's quite a big angle though, Tim. Yeah, but you take a little longer shot. If you go travel around, you can get really awkward. Yeah, I took your advice. No coaching. Sorry. This stem ball again on the hill. Or is Christina de Kutch getting another chance? <gasps> oh. Well, 
Reds. Can you believe it? Unexpected. Wow. Wow. And what could have been 3 1. Uh, yeah, 3 1. It's now 2 each. Go for a short little break. Make sure we'll be right back. Welcome back. The Alpha Las Vegas Open. Talking about Alpha. Make sure you check out alphacoin.io. If you're a big fan of pool, if you care about the players, if you want to, want to have pool to grow, make sure you check out their website because they have the official billiards cryptocurrency. Alphacoin.io. That's a good tip. See what I did there? Talking of tips and all in between, Seabirds.com, one of our sponsors also. Rums of Puerto Rico, I'd love one of them right now. Oh, almost scratched. Try break and again that one ball travels up to the short rail. Call the one ball in the side, send the one ball off two rails, leave the cue ball up. Just to the left of where the one ball is now, hide behind the group of balls. Could play the cue ball behind the four and bank the one ball two rails down table and this shot was a little risky. Yeah, it's it was tough, to, like tough it. to get behind the seven ball, especially with that flat angle coming in. Going the other way, he was more or less guaranteed to get at least some coverage behind that big wall of balls over that right-hand side. Nicely struck. Perfect on the two. Has she got an angle to come towards? I think she can pinch it a little bit, Tim, can she? I think she? she can cheat the pocket with low right and then draw back, hit the long rail, and then at least get a shot on the three. It's not going to be straight, but you don't need to be straight in this case. Would be nice. Well, she played position to play the safety. She didn't fancy it that much. Yes, yeah, short don't again. I don't think she's got the cover here. We all know what's coming here. The small thin on the Three balls, sending it to the third diamond. Cue ball, two rails behind the nine, ten, nine, six. Silviana Lou has pulled a rack back in 
the deciding set against Kelly Fisher. 2-1 now, Kelly leads. Bean Hung has won the second set against Ilul Kibaroglu. They are now level 1-1. Now she might be playing the cue ball behind the seven and bank the three down table. And she called the bank. Is this on? Not direct, but maybe real first. It's possible, isn't it? Just masse slightly. Left hand English, just raise the butt slightly. There Nicely goes. done. And oh, look at this. This is okay. Yeah, just to get on the five ball now is the big challenge. Another chance to get on the hill for Christina Zlateva. to take the risk, take a gamble here. No left, going two rails, trying to go in between the nine and the six. And hopefully end up with the five in either the side, the top left corner, or maybe the top right corner. She wasn't just looking for the gap between the, the eight and the six, was she? No. She's hooked. I said that because I saw her looking. She placed a cue between the gap, and I thought, you've got to be so precise with that. Oh, this wow. has turned out okay. <laughs> this how has did turned she, out brilliant. How did she find that gap with the five ball? Look at this. Goes right in between the 9 and the 10 and hooks Christina to catch. Good solid hit. And it's oh, thought it's going to be another scratch. Oh, well, now this is a tough shot, though. Quite straight on the five ball, and also super close to it. So it's not like you can stroke the ball nicely and get some movement on the cue ball. Wow, she hit that well done very well to get there Tim yeah good shot angle on the seven if she plays with draw it's always going to go towards the eight for the bottom right corner in this view is she going to get on the hill this time nice track at the perfect opportunity to do it and then miss the 10 ball then a little stun follow just let the cue ball run through six eight inches would be perfect these are the shots you practice aren't they Tim nice 
a long straight. She's let the cue ball go, though. Didn't hold it. Might still be okay to roll the nine ball in and get close to the center of the table and take the cut on the 10. But then again, the last time she's done that, she's missed the 10. So she'll get a little straighter on this 10 ball, though. I feel that she can hold the cue ball close to the side pocket. Yeah, good weight. Well played. Very nicely played. Christina to catch. Takes a sip of water. Calming herself down for the next rack. But it is Christina Zlateva who is now on the hill to win this match and a place in the semi-finals of the Las Vegas Alpha Open. Somebody trying to have a little chat with Christina there. I don't know who that was, do you? No. I don't think her mum's here. Her mum comes to some events. Yeah, it's also a EPBF referee. Mom. Really? Yeah. Ah. And her dad's. Was her dad a coach as well? Did I remember? That I don't know. For sure involved in the world of pool. getting those balls nice and tight no gaps well he doesn't like it so he's gonna start again I don't mind that well, I'd rather have them well than just put them out there and be bad so it's been yeah, it's doing a good job so far it's and been it's a, the balls yeah, nice. it's a I was just gonna say it's such a tough job but the referees really don't get any you know, recognition for it. It's a thankless task. You're always going to please one and upset another. And also to the man on the shot clock as well. I mean, he was really busy, wasn't he, during the, the way to Chen Kelly Fisher match? Yeah. I reckon he hears that shot clock in his sleep. Keeps waking up on the hour. square hit yeah just lacking that power though it's just nothing not enough I think she's run out of energy so last breath for Christina to catch yeah she's drinking in the last chance saloon as we say cannot afford to lose this rack I think she's firing at this one. Oh, what a nice shot. Controlled it very well. Little bit of a heart in mouth moment there when it was going very close to that eight ball. Yeah, for sure, key shot here is to move from the four to the five ball. Could settle down for a tougher cut on the five, but we've seen those cut shots going wrong as well in this match. up playing with draw oh she got a little thin and yeah Q came off the hand as well there lost a little bit of control so she's not going to do it at this visit I don't think just clipping the floor as well that 
does still have the cut, but will be more difficult to be on the five as the cue ball is going to be running around the table for Rail's position. Oh, great cut. Well, she's on it. That's a decent shot as well. Very well controlled. Great shot, Christina. The crystal to catch. Now, is she able to hold the cue ball for the six in the side? I think she can. Soft with right spin. And hit the ball a little thicker if you play with that right spin. Oh, she goes up and down. Is she going to get low enough on the six ball? She's a little far, far away. Great effort, but cue ball close to that side route. If she wants to carry this on, she's going to have to come up. It's a good long shot here. Well, two long shots. She's most likely just going to roll this seven ball in and take the cut on the eight. The harder she plays this seven ball, the tougher the eight ball gets. Oh! Really used all of the pocket there. Yeah, miss isn't guaranteed either. Still has to hold her nerve. With the side pocket. Oh, she's hit it over oh. thin. Well. Kelly Fisher and Silviana Lou are 2-2 two -two in the deciding set. Yeah, just one good shot away. She can get nicely on this nine ball. Nicely in, and she's got a nice shot on this nine ball as well. If it bounces, it's a little, it little has. Far on this nine ball, though. This is and she will have to play this with quite some speed to dare, get on the ten. Dare I say this is one of her speciality shots, though? She loves these. They're one of her favourites. She's got away with it, though. Look at that. And look at how close that nine ball got to the short rail as well. Yeah, I think she's feeling the pressure a little bit, and rightly so. That was such a tough shot, but one she normally makes. Yeah, oh. Went for the bank, but... Well, she's got away with it though. Yeah, just got far enough not to leave the nine ball for the side pocket. The drama continues. Now she needs to come up with a good shot to get that nine ball safe. I think she's going to double bank the nine ball to the short rail. The only risk is you don't want to give a carom or a combination on the 10. Not bad. She's Not le bad. She's left the cut, but the position on the 10 ball is almost a no-go for me. Called it.
tried to run well, the cue ball around and as she had going to stop rolling. Oh, I think she might be hooked after this shot though. The ball up on the 10. Well, that's Ooh. not far enough. Has she left this? I think she's left it. She's left it. Can you believe that? Wow. Christina Zlateva will be so frustrated. In it goes. 3-2. The cards slowly coming back here. We'll go for a short two-minute break. And we'll be right back. Welcome back to the arena, the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open. Christina Tekac and Christina Slateva left the arena for a little break. Obviously, Christina Slateva a little disappointed because she definitely had the opportunity there to close the match. Tekac, she really feels like she might have a chance, so she's trying to get herself in, in shape to come back yeah and you know crystal hasn't been breaking bad it's she started to make balls since she moved to the center of the table from the side and actually it's been breaking nicely as it does from the, the center less congestion the balls are spreading nicely they're just not making balls consistently. But then, really, not anyone has been in the Las Vegas Open, the Men's Open. You know, no one was making balls consistently. Yeah, I think that's also, that's the part of the whole replay hand rack because otherwise it's just too easy to make a ball. But if you look at the percentages breaking from the center, especially on this table, we've seen uh, Fedo Gorse played one match with Copigny was making the balls to the side a lot of times. So I am kind of positive that Feder told Christina to start breaking from the center. I really think that was a good change. 
Both players breaking from the center, nice layouts. Just a couple of positional errors, just gets a little tricky sometimes. Referee wrecking the balls with the Predator and the wreck. Also using the Predator Arena lights, Predator Bridge, Predator Apex 9 foot table, of course, and the Predator R Cross 2 balls. Yeah, going back to some latest scores. Silviana Lou is on the hill now against Kelly Fisher in the deciding set. She leads 3 2. Elu Kiparoglu and Bean Hunt. They're one set all and one rack all in the deciding set. So here we go then to break off. Christina to catch. Let's hope she doesn't scratch. Well, they haven't really been scratching at all, so I, you wouldn't really expect them to. We're looking to make either the 8 or the 7 in the side. The 8 or the 5, I'm sorry. 5's on its way. Oh, yeah, got in and... Shot on the oh, 1. No. Oh, you see a praying for a shot on the 1 there. No luck. But at least she's made a ball and got control of the table. Call the push out. Pushed out to that corner and yeah, I'm not really seeing any value in going for the cut on the one. There's only, yeah, you can go for the cut on the one and run into the two ball, but I think it's really aggressive. Did she get it safe? I think she has. And especially with the one three now being locked up. Things got a lot more difficult. If that ended up in a combo, the jump would not even be that difficult. Yeah, and Christina to catch is actually going to be part of the full commentary team for the World 10 Ball. So really looking forward to having her in the booth with us. Again, she really is great fun to have next to you, chatting about absolutely anything. And if you've got any questions, guys, stick them in the chat and. I'll have a look later, and next time she's in, I'll ask them. But she has got a loud to answer list and a not allowed to answer list. So Christina Slateva with the open opportunity. If she can get straight on the two, that would be quite nice. goes and okay just okay but not straight on the two little angle to go towards the three I'd like to drag this in just low on the cue ball and we have a result for you and the young ladies run continues Silviana Lu from Indonesia has beaten England's Kelly Fisher by two sets to one and goes through to play Sarah Sarah.
in tomorrow's semi-final at midday. Who are going to be the other two semi-finalists? We don't know yet. This young lady at the table now, though, slight favourite as she's on the hill. Yeah, they get a little straight again. Might still be able to get to the the other side for the six, or she's gonna make sure she cheats the pocket and draws it straight back. A little short, but at least she's, she does have the cut on the six. made it she's really stretching there oh and what a result she's made the eight ball as well well maybe not such a good result now she's got a it wasn't in a great position though was it that eight ball yeah it or was, was it okay it was okay a little bit of a stretch over the top of the nine she's going forward two rails oh played it well now then is this the moment does have a good angle can just draw anywhere close to the side pocket would be okay of course not too crazy yeah, looking good so this 10 ball for a place in the semis And in and it goes, and she's done it, the fist pump. A little hug as well, Fedor. Okay. Yeah, both players put up a great fight here, but it is Christina Slateva, who we will see tomorrow in the semi-finals at 12 p.m. So we would love to see you back tomorrow at 12 p.m. This was Mark White and myself, Tim De Ruiter. Thank you and good night. Ta-ta.